Okay. Today we're playing Tell Me Why. I've been waiting for this game for quite a bit. Once I saw it was made by one of the guys that made Life is Strange, I was I got so hyped for it. Let's get into it. Delos Crossing, Alaska, March 1st, 2005. Hey, kiddo. I need to ask you a few questions, okay? Can you tell me what happened tonight? I... I went to show her my haircut. She had a gun. She... Take your time. She freaked out. I... I... It's okay. No, it's not. It's not okay. My mom tried to kill me, so... So I stabbed her. I killed my mother. Oh. Chapter One, Homecoming. Fireweed Residential Center, November 2nd, 2015. I see the soundtrack is still good.
I've been practiced since high school. I'm probably super rusty. That's a... That's a big hockey stick. That's not... Wow. Okay. That's not accurate at all. Can I go through here? What's this? No. Dear Tyler, I know what you're thinking. A letter? Why all weird and formal? What's wrong with email? Well, I figured, hey bro, just wanted to give my twin a shout before reuniting after 10 years of swank juvie is more like letter territory. Whatever. You'll thank me when you're 90 and the machines have taken over. And you still have something to read by my can by candlelight. See? Always thinking ahead. Anyway, I can't believe you'll be out for real in a few weeks. What? Amazing. I'm definitely going to be awkward when I see you, so please try not to notice, okay? How's your last month going? Are you sad about leaving your mentees? I bet they're going to miss you. I got my tires replaced, so I'm all good to pick you up, and you can save the snark when you see my ride. She's been through a lot, and we can't be all car guys. Anyway, the Vecchies let me take the day off so we can go straight to the old house and get it ready for the sale and everything. Can't we'll wait to never think about that place again. I really can't wait to see you. I don't know if I made that clear. Love you, Allison. Can't believe I'm about to leave this room for the last time. Okay, I'm pretty much done here. I just need to grab my goblin and I'm off. Hey, little guy. You're gonna be reunited with your sister soon. Oh, cool. I guess by Herbert. Herbert. Denali. I need to get my application ready for next summer. Uh, okay. Can I open this? No. Is that the letter I was reading? Neat. Man, the soundtrack to my angsty teen years. I'll leave it for the next rebel. I've been listening to this on a loop lately. <sighs> Bummed I have to leave this behind, but the old house would probably collapse if I blasted this inside. these dumb dumbs let's get out of here shall we Okay. 
Hi, Tyler. Hi. First time we see each other in ten years, and it's hi, Tyler. Oh, sorry, I... It's fine, Allison. Hi is a good place to start. God, it's good to see you. <sighs> Likewise. You have anything else you need to get? No, nope. this is it. My last ten years in a bag. Then we should get going. We just have time to make the morning ferry. You look good in that. Thanks. One of my mentees designed it. It's really good. Yeah, he's so incredibly talented. I got a couple of local coffee shops to hang his art. Tyler Ronan, shaping the leaders of tomorrow. Yep, we're screwed. <laughs> so, are you gonna miss anything about this place? The people. Honestly, the people. The other residents, my mentees, my counselor, Aaron. It took me a while to fit in. But once I did, it felt like home. They made me feel safe. Safe enough to be me. That's so great. I'm really happy for you. We planning to drive to Delos Crossing or push? You are welcome to walk. Nah, I'll take my chances. Need one last look or anything? Looked. Let's go. Keep an unlocked rear view mirror. Oh yeah. God damn. No, really. I am 100% not creative enough to make that stuff up. Oh, and just last week, they had to turn the ferry around because a bear was on board. No way. <laughs> Someone heard a commotion in the back of a delivery truck, so they opened it up. And there was the bear. Bad and happy on a literal mountain of empty chip bags. <laughs> you go where the food is. Oh, I can relate to that. So then what happened? I'm not sure. I think they couldn't get him to leave, so they tranked him. Oh, poor buddy. Shot in the ass just for getting the munchies. Yeah, well, you know what they say. Safety first in bear country. Yeah, but prevention is best. Common sense goes a long way in keeping them from getting shot. The bear is fine, Tyler. For now. You hear they've been talking about loosening up regulations on trophy hunting again? Higher bag limits, inhumane ground traps, even bringing back hibernation hunting. What kind of asshole gets off on killing a sleeping animal? I'm not against hunting, but predators play a vital role in the health of our natural parks. What? Why are you smiling? I'm being serious. Oh, I can tell, Ranger Tyler. Not yet, but at least I got the school part out of the way. I can't believe you've got a bachelor's already. While I boast a half-completed certificate in accounting from an online college that may have stolen my credit card number. You'll figure out what you want. You have time. How are you feeling? Like I'm about to drive straight into a whiteout and my fog lights are dead. What about you? Allison? Well, zoned out there for a second. Sorry. What's up? I'm sorry, I'm just trying to wrap my head around the fact that you're right here, standing beside me, on our way to Delos. You don't have to apologize. It's a lot. Why did we take the ferry instead of the coast road? Because I didn't want to be stuck in the car with you for an extra two hours. Ha ha. <laughs> we have to take the ferry. It's the only way to reach Delos from Fireweed. I see. Well, good. I don't think my stomach could have taken two more hours of how you handle curves. 
I'm sorry. Do you want to take over driving when we dock? <laughs> no. You're gonna have to get back behind that wheel at some point, you know. Look, I put a fireweed van nose first in a ditch. Hey, at least you missed the porcupine. I'm guessing things haven't changed much. You mean in Delos? Still the capital of East Jesus nowhere. Can't wait to get out of here. Was it really that bad? Pretty much. But it could definitely have been worse. Like if you'd been tucked away in a center for troubled youth? Right. At least you had Michael. Yeah. I don't think I'd have survived high school without him. Bet you're gonna miss him when you move to Juno. How's he doing? Good. Good, good. Uh, but I haven't seen him much outside of work lately. He's been busy with his dance and helping his clan organize a potlatch. A what? Is that smoke coming out of Stonehouse? That one over there? No, the one just beyond it. You know, the one the elders say is haunted to spook little kids. Oh, right. Oh, a whole group of us were drinking at a bonfire down at the point and got dared to go inside. We didn't make it past the garden. <laughs> Sounds fun. Uh, it was. So, we're really going back there, huh? To Stonehouse? I meant we're going home. Yeah. Yeah, we are. Think the house will sell? No interested buyers yet. Turns out people don't line up to buy murder houses with no electricity. <laughs> At least it's got one hell of a view, unlike Juno. Hey, Juno has mountain views aplenty. It just also has people and fun. Are you still thinking you might be my roomie? I'm thinking about it. Hey, can I ask you a question? Shoot. I was told... Um, I mean, after you, well, graduated, I guess, and became a mentor three years ago, you still basically spent all your time at Fireweed, right? Pretty much. There were a few times I tried to go to these meetups for trans people in Juno, but something always came up. I probably should have put myself out there more, but it was better to be around in case the residents needed me. So you were free to come and go as you pleased? Yeah. Uh, why do you ask? Oh, nothing. Just being an overly invested sister. Curious how you spent your time. Alaska sure is beautiful. Allison? Yeah? Spit it out. Okay, you need to promise not to freak out. What is it? It's a gift. From Eddie. I know he's not your favorite person, but... I'm sorry, when you said Eddie, I thought you meant Chief Brown, as in the police officer who arrested me. Come on, Ty. Don't. And your adopted father, the man who didn't let you visit me for seven years. The Fireweed Administration backed him up, Tyler. They thought it was best for both of us. Yeah, well, it wasn't. It's a peace offering. And you're the two most important people in my life. Please. For me. He can't buy my forgiveness with some cheap-ass trinket. It's a gift, Tyler. You know what gift-giving means in Clinket culture, and what it means to refuse one. Fine. Fine. I'll take it, but I'm not going to wear it. Really? Really. Just so we're clear, this was for you, not Chief Brown. You know, you could call him Eddie, or even Uncle. <laughs> Hard pass. We had to torch a waterfall. Did you hear that? Whoa. 
Whoa. Oh, cool. There's no place like home. Yeah. Would it ruin the moment if I said I needed to call home? Uh, yes. Completely. Sorry. Don't go ahead and stop apologizing all the time. Okay, sorry. <sighs> Thanks. Okay. Hey. Do I have a notebook? I don't think I have a notebook. Hey, it's me. Yep, you didn't die in a fiery crash. It's so weird being back on this boat. <laughs> I thought that said explore the Jewish Alaska. Oh, and that, that said shoot shoot up. Shoot up. Man, I can't read. I just woke up. Yikes. Hey, I heard that. Hey, man, it's your truck. You do you. Same to you. Live and let live. Just a sticker. Enjoying the ride? Oh. Love it. I don't think I could ever get tired of this. Agreed. Where are you headed? Uh, Delos Crossing. Same here. You from around here? Born and bred. Ah, you don't say. I moved to Anchorage around your age. Delos was mostly Alaskan natives then. Kid, I know. I haven't been home in five years. My sister wants me to uh, move. My sister's planning to move to Juno. Good for her. Most folks I know never tried living anywhere else. I'm Alex, by the way. Alex Gershwin. No relation. Huh? To George Gershwin? Um. Gershwin, the pianist. Folks are always asking for related, so I try to head it off the pass. Oh. Uh, what'd you say your name was? <laughs> Just call me Tyler. Just call me Tyler. All right. Good to meet you, Tyler. Likewise, sir. What a waste of a good pun. Oh, uh, you're not supposed to leave your car? <laughs> I would not stay in my car if I was on one of these. What does it take? Right, and I'm trapped by my seatbelt. No way. I'm walking around and you can't stop me. Hey again. Fancy meeting you here. There's nothing like the open air. Hey, you send your application to Denali yet? Uh, not yet. I need way more experience. You're not applying to run the entire national park. They've got to have something entry level, right? Yeah, but I've done no internships, no volunteer work. They probably get hundreds of applicants, and I've got nothing to show. Come on, you don't know that. Doesn't hurt to try. He's staring into my soul. Hmm. 
Bah. Chalk. Ah. Let's get out of here. Hit the gas. Basically, exactly like I remember it. Only faded. Like a Polaroid left on a windowsill. From the outside, it almost looks charming. Charm's not the problem. Structural integrity may be an issue. You think there's a chance whoever buys it will just tear it down? If someone buys it, they can do whatever they want with it. You wouldn't care at all? Would you? Sure. Everywhere I look, I see a piece of one of our adventures. Everywhere I look, I just see her. Allison, we could go grab a bite. Start this tomorrow? No. The only way to get this done is to do it. All right. I'm going to guess Tyler was the one that killed their mom. Uh, did you smoke something before you left Fireweed? The door is right there. You don't have to be rude. Locked. Well, it's a good thing I remembered this. You could have used that before I tried opening the door. You sure that's the right key? Yes. Maybe someone changed the lock. Who would change the lock on us? I don't know. We're screwed. You got a plan B? Yeah. Break in. Find another way in. 
I never knew a locked door that could keep the crafty goblins out. Yeah, we had a million ways in and out of this old house. At least one of them's gotta work. <sighs> the crafty goblins. I haven't thought about them in forever. Or should I say, us? We almost spent more time as goblins than we did as kids. Oh, do you remember all the other characters? The moon hag, the ice king, the old bear? I can't believe these are still here. Yeah, we should hide them so they don't frighten away potential buyers. Remember how mad she'd get if we didn't use the compost? And she always knew when we were lying. Waste not or kiss the planet goodbye. No way. I can't believe it's still there. Open sesame. Let me guess. It's locked. Yup. No any other. So, any idea how we're gonna get in? Hmm. We used to play under the house when we were kids. Yeah. We stashed all our goblin treasure down there. There was a hatch, right? That opened up into the laundry room? There was. I hope I can still fit. I'm a little taller than I was at 11. It's no good. I can't open this one either. It's okay. We'll find another way in. Can I move? There you go. Just use the shovel. Break it open. Uh huh. At least we don't have any use for oh. this right now. I remember she made it a game, at least. That's right. We made tunnels to escape the ice troll. Gotta hand it to her. She can make us do anything if she turned it into a goblin tail. I wonder if there are still fish in the lake. Uncle Eddie taught us to fish here. You still fish? Nope. You? Every Sunday morning. Once I could leave fireweed, of course. Mm -hmm. Totally. At first. Really go out ah. there. No, you're right. I do want to go out there. Oh. Looks like a neighbor came by. It's funny. Can't remember any signs of them when we were kids. Probably because our mother scared the shit out of them. Yeah. She scared everybody else off, too. No, it should be fine. Okay. If we just get this board out of the way, I could probably squeeze through. So we need something to pry it off. It's screwed in pretty good. We need a screwdriver. Do what? Okay. Screwdriver. Usually in these shed things. I can't believe these are still here. Yeah, we should hide them. At least the shed's still standing. Yep. I don't want to think about what might be living inside it, though. Well, better alive than dead. Ugh, yes. Let's... Hey, it's locked, all right. Okay. There should be something in here that'll work. Hey, I see a screwdriver. Now all we need to do is get inside. Wait, I, um... Feeling something strange. Oh, what? And don't leave this room until everything looks as clean as a whistle. Ugh. This is the millionth time I've gotten in trouble because of you. You and your big mouth. Hey, you weren't thinking the same thing. You just weren't brave enough to tell her. What good would it do? It's not like she ever listens to us anyway. Well, I'd rather scream it right in her stupid face than be a quiet little mouse. Oh, we forgot the key. We need to put it back. Maybe we could hide it somewhere. You know, for fun. Goblins are supposed to help the princess, not play mean tricks. Whatever, you're not fun. I'm only trying not to make her even worse. Whoa, did that just happen? I don't know. But I saw it too. It felt like it did when we used to share thoughts with our voice. It did. But that was a memory of us 10 years ago, right? I vaguely remember it happening. I think so. 
And, uh, that's new, right? Yeah. We could share thoughts and feelings, but we never replayed memories like that. Why would it happen? And why that memory? I don't know. It's pretty eerie. It's weird, but our voice was always a good thing. This could be too. I'm feeling something again. Near the barn. Yeah, me too. Hurry! Let's go see the silent frog. Coming. I'm coming. What? Stop sulking. I told you already. I'm sorry. No, you're not. <laughs> okay. Guess you don't want to see what I put in the treasure room then. What? No, I want to see. I guess we know we're in search now. We just have to remember which one is the silent frog. So, which that one of you is hiding the key? Hmm? Damn, where's the key? Seriously? Kidding. Oh, come on. <laughs> okay, okay, sorry. Nice job keeping the secret, buddy. this box here it looks brand new it wasn't me has someone been out here recently guess it's your like got it all this for a screwdriver you got a better idea how to get in how did she get around on these roads with this thing she'd rather have broken her neck than spend money on a new one yeah still waiting for those bikes she promised us Uncle Eddie got me one, but I hardly ever used it. Are you sure you want to go in there? This was our very first den, remember? Who knows what lives down there now? Everything okay down there? Tyler? Ah! Oh, that's not funny! <laughs> then why am I laughing? Okay, fine. But you're still an idiot. That was pretty All funny. Right. I'm going in for real this time. Okay. I'll see you at the front door in a few minutes. You don't want to come with me? to see you again. It's been a long time, buddy. Look at that butt. No 
Nope. It was on the right. My bad. Wait. That was our treasure? It's just trash. We could make treasure out of it. Pink. It always had to be pink. I found her old kite. <laughs> I think its wings have been clipped, though. Rest in peace, brave bird. Marianne grilled us about all these missing dishes, but a goblin never gives up their treasure. <laughs> okay. Pass the treasure. Straight, Straight ahead. ahead. You know, I almost convinced myself our voice was just another childhood fantasy. Me too. But we really are connected. The Mad Hunter. Why am I still afraid to say his name? He was Mary Ann's creation. She made all the creepy characters. That looks right for the grabbing. I gotta go back. I gotta get it. I gotta get it. That's not the way. Do you know the way? There's a collectible. I would have taken the gold. Not even in your dreams. Coming. Are you okay? I'll live. Good to hear your voice again. Yeah, same here. So, coming in or what? Just working up to it. Here. Here we are. So, how do we get started? We figure out what to keep, what to trash, and see what else this house might be trying to show us. All right, let's see. Broken shelf, broken jar, and the washing machine. Broken. <laughs> the dryer never worked to begin with. Marianne thought dryers were straight up evil. Energy hog. I hated hanging drippy laundry. I refused to change for a few weeks once, so I wouldn't have to do it.
Mary Ann's room. Let's not go in there until we absolutely have to. Agreed. We should take down the creepy masks if we don't want to scare the buyers away. Oh, so now you don't want to scare someone with those masks. <laughs> Are these authentic Clinket? I doubt it. I'm surprised Marianne would buy fakes. 20 years ago, everyone was buying fakes. Huh. This bathroom still smells like Marianne. Good scrub, and we'll be rid of that too. What are we gonna do with all her jewelry? Well, I'm certainly not gonna wear it. Donation pop. There are so many times I looked in this mirror hoping somehow it'd show me something different. Wow, I forgot all about her weird concoctions. And how she was always testing them on us, like we were- Handmade soap, still here after 10 years, impressive. You could say that about the entire house. I tried to bury this dress in the backyard, but Marianne caught me. It was a pretty dress. Yeah, well, we both know pretty was never my thing. We were so competitive about who measured taller, like we actually had anything to do with it. And after all that, it ended in a tie. Yeah, none of that crazy stretching I did made any difference. <laughs> String, glue, duct tape, the holy trinity of house repair. Marianne loved having something to fix. But not the part where it got broken, especially if we were the ones responsible. I know. I'm just saying she liked to save broken things. Huh. What was she hoping to do with all these jars? She used to barter for our clothes with homemade jam. She tried everything to make ends meet. What? How are you feeling about being back? I thought I knew what to expect, but everything keeps catching me by surprise. My nerves are completely raw. I get it. How about you? You okay? I'm honestly not sure how I feel yet. I'm just trying to think of it as an empty house. Yeah, an empty house full of actual ghosts. Hope guess we never had time to complete the collection. These came out of one of the prize machines at the Vecchi store, right? Yeah, you'd slide the quarters inside on the little tray, and then magic, out pops a sticker. Mom, about me joining the hockey team? Mom! Sorry, what? Uh, not now. Maybe next year. But you promised! Keep whining, and my next year will become never. Can you cut my hair? Your hair is fine. But I want to cut it short, really short. What? Look, I'm tired, and I'm busy. Let's talk about this later. You always say that. Marianne said no to everything. Made me so pissed. She was always on edge those last few months. Yeah, and completely deaf to everything I was telling her I needed. She pretty much always said no to me too. True, she was trying to save the planet way before Al Gore made it cool. Has Al Gore ever made anything cool? Nah. <laughs> I guess she was right about one thing. But you can't really blame anyone for not listening to crazy Marianne Ronan. I didn't realize how much I missed the smell of firewood. I miss the cold winter nights curled up here with big mugs of hot cocoa. Yeah, Marianne was so tired she was usually asleep on the couch. Ah, that's why it was so nice. No Marianne. We'd use our voice so we didn't wake her up. 
And then we'd be up all night telling stories and watching the fire die. Wow. I'm so embarrassed for us. Many Da Vinci's we were not. She saved every drawing we ever did. There's a couple of these I might keep. Wow. Oops. She took so many pictures. Yeah. Like she had to document every second of our lives. You can keep some of them. If you want. <laughs> no thanks. I mean, I like the photos of us. But I don't think I can forget that she was the one aiming the camera. Did I look at this? No, I did not. Hey mom, we are sorry the vase got broke. We didn't know We didn't know you love it so much. We need to be careful not act up in the window room. Next time we will try and use good judgment. <laughs> Please forgive us for doing bad things. I'm sorry too. We should be more careful. I'm very sad we made you cry so much. We should play outside instead. I will tell Ollie not to be wild all the time. We aren't going to do it anymore. We are sorry. I'm sure it's still there. I should check our bedroom upstairs. What are you reading? Ah, ah, sorry. A letter we wrote her. To apologize for breaking that stupid face, remember? Bore your kids into good behavior. Great parenting strategy. Big yarn. Tessa gave them to us, right? Yeah. She pinched every penny. Remember these. It's probably one of Marianne's unfinished masterpieces. There's two of them. Maybe they were us. In some weird way that only made sense to Marianne. Let's go upstairs. Where'd you come from? What is that? <laughs> A tale of two swords. Yo, what are you doing down there? What do you think I'm doing? Trying to figure out if anything in Marianne's mess is worth keeping. Any progress? Not really. What about you? What are you doing up there? Uh, you know, just plotting world domination. Ah, that's a big responsibility. Not sure if you can hack it, Ronan. <laughs> oh, ye of little faith. I guess it is about time to check our bedroom. I'll be up in a second. Open. Now this, this feels like home. Hey, the postcard we sent ourselves from Juno. Forever alone. What? We barely had any friends. We even had to be our own pen pals. <laughs> Hello, Allison and Ollie. We are writing from the past. What is it like in the future? Anyway, Juno is super cool. We took the tramway all the way up. Ollie was oh, Ollie was scared. Liar. <laughs> we got some books, but mommy Tyler, went to the restaurant. Copy? If we don't move fast, this oh. whole thing is going to melt. Do you copy? 
Shh. Copy, Allison. Gonna get this thing moving soon. Don't want the Mad Hunter to catch us. Over. <laughs> the Mad Hunter. <laughs> Ugh, he still gives me the creeps. I wish I could forget about him. <clears throat> let me, let me examine. Let me, let, let. Hey, you. I just found your twin under the house. He's seen better days. At least oh, this one wasn't mine. Look, it's the game we made, Lusion Tramway. That game never made any sense. Didn't stop us from playing all day. Dude, we were kids. All we needed were rocks and bird feathers. <laughs> Ugh. Some of our old toys give me the creeps. That is creepy. Look what I found. What? Only our greatest creation, the Book of Goblins. <laughs> Seriously? It was in the- All these stories. I had ideas for so many more. Marianne wrote Holy a lot of them. Crap. Yeah. It's one of the only times I remember her being at peace. I'm not gonna read all this. There's so many. Ah, uh, where is it? You looking for something in particular? My diary. You never told me about it. Yeah. With the way Marianne was, I tried extra hard to keep it a secret. Marianne. Yeah, that day she found out about it. Mom, where is it? What did you do with it? What now? I can't find my diary. I know you stole it. Give it back. Sweetie, whatever I do, it's just for your benefit. You read it, didn't you? You had no right to do that. I have the right to do whatever I need to protect my little girl. I'm not your girl. I hate you. You will always be my little girl. And no matter how hard you fight me, I'll fight twice as hard to keep you safe. I never saw it coming. She told me right to my face. She was willing to hurt me, to keep me from transitioning. Tyler, there is no way you could have known she'd go that far. I want my diary back. Her room was the only place I didn't look. Okay, but do you need to get it, like, now? That diary was important to me, Allison. Writing down my thoughts helped me realize who I am. Well, then let's go find it. You think her room is still locked? It always was. I'm not looking forward to going in there. I know. You know, if there's one thing you gotta give Marianne, it's that she let us explore our artistic side. You should have seen Eddie's face when I tried to repaint his car. Yeah. I bet Uncle Eddie didn't appreciate your artistic touch. I'd rather you called him Chief Brett whenever we asked for a TV. Chief is <laughs> home with a big stack of books. I think she did us a favor with that one. Mm, you may not agree when we start digging into the HBO back catalog. We'll see. So much for my dream of being a hockey star. Marianne thought sports were too aggressive, too competitive, and too group thinky. How did you convince me to let you put this up? It was my favorite movie. Back then. Yeah. 
Oh, oh. Ice King finally caught the hag. His furious voice could be heard throughout the forest. For your wickedness, you will be eternally bound to the lake. What? No way. Quiet, let me finish. You will no longer be allowed to leave. Not even under a full moon. The moon hag was imprisoned in the lake, and she never again tried to escape. Hmm. Hmm. And then the title. What do you think? Not bad, right? Uh, I guess that's okay. But I would have changed the end. What? No way! Shit. I totally forgot about him. That's because it was dangerous to mention his name. He was too powerful. Hold up. What? Remember this? Uh, unfortunately. You must solve my riddle to earn the right to enter the princess's sanctum. Nothing a good hard shove won't take care of. I mean, yes, we could brute force it, but it might be kind of fun to finally solve it, right? We have different definitions of the word fun. Okay, well, if we break it, we're just gonna have to fix it for the sale. So let's at least try not to. You have the Book of Goblins? Yep. Yeah. Hand it over. I hate puzzles. <laughs> what are you looking for? The image on the door. It's making me think of a story from the book. One that Marianne wrote. You have a way better memory than me. Well, the Book of Goblins was my creation. And you'll never let anyone forget it. <laughs> Here it is. The one about the princess's party. Give it a read. I think the symbols may represent something in the Why don't story. you read it? Sure. First ghost memories, now storybook puzzles. What a weird day. What a weird childhood. Touche. Touche. Book of Goblins. Is this even the right story? Not even the right story. I don't know what that says. Oh. Oh. Is that is that the puzzle? Light sword treasure sack. All right. <laughs> None of them have that crap <laughs> once upon a time in a deep and ancient forest the princesses the princess was melancholy because it was the one year anniversary of when she had to run away from home sensing her sadness her four up at her door they were headed by the pelican pious and attentive and organized by the moose, stalwart and far-sighted, and the bear was there, also sharp, as well as the big frog prattling away. Even the haughty muskrat, who almost never had time for anyone, had come. So, there, let's see. Uh, the pelican, moose, and the bear. Pelican. Moose. Mm. 
in the bag. Uh, I think I'm just gonna force this open. You sure? We're not in a rush, and we'll have to fix it. Uh, I'm gonna solve the puzzle. All right, one more try. Okay, it wasn't the pelican moose or the bear. <sighs> Even the haunty muskrat, who almost never had time for anyone, had come. The bear invited her to ride on his back, promising not to wolf would harry her path. Then the animals led her to a fairy glen, where a fabulous party had been prepared. There was a buffet of seafood the pelican had served from her never-emptying em beak. The air was filled with winking fairy lights the moose had arranged after clouds filled the sky. And the gregarious frog Mixed up fizzing drinks. Only the muskrat had done nothing in particular, mooching off everyone else's hard work. The princess had a very good time at her party. Such a good time she forgot to say thank you to any of her friends. Noticing this, the fairies devised a bit of mischief. When the princess went to open her guests, she found three identical boxes at the edge of the glen. Puzzled, she turned back and gasped. The entire party had vanished. Because you have taken your friends for granted, called the naughty fairies. We have hidden them for you. But we like games. Guess who has given you each of these presents and you'll get your friends back. The princess opened the first box. Inside there was a torch. When lit, revealed the truth. Hmm, said the princess. Someone wants to make sure I don't get lost in the woods when it's dark. When I always see the light. When I always see right from wrong. Which of my friends would give me a gift like that? Oh. Okay. Okay. Alright. Pious and attentive. Starward and far sighted. I'm gonna go with the moose. She opened the second box. Inside there was a magic sword, which would leap right out of the bearer's hands to defend them. Hmm, said the princess, someone wants to make sure I am protected. If I'm ever under threat, which one of my friends would give a gift like that? I'm gonna guess the bear. She opened the third box. Inside there was a bag of coins. That always provided money if it was for something... The bearer truly needed. Hmm, said the princess. Someone wants to make sure I have money to buy food when I'm hungry. And clothes when I'm cold. Which of my friends would give me a gift like that? Oh, man. I don't think the muskrat did it. Ah, I grabbed my job, buddy. I think the pelican. Hey, I did it. <laughs> hey, I'm smart. And boom, we're in.
so many years, I expected this to feel more, you know, like a win. Speak for yourself. I'm the one who solved the riddle. Why do I feel like you're not gonna let me forget that? <laughs> Where do you think we should start looking? I don't know. Where in this mess would she stash someone else's personal thoughts? Oh, memory. 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 I will not the moon. Ah. I just can't get through. Whatever's going on, they won't let me in. Ugh. They used to tell me everything. They shut me out, Tessa. They've shut me out. I've had so much on my plate lately, and... And... They're convinced I'm the enemy, and I don't know why! I need them. I need my goblins. I remember now. We heard her crying. We listened through the door. Seeing her like this, as if she's still here, it's... It really sucks. She was really coming apart those last few months, wasn't she? <laughs> she always had to have a picture of us close by. Why this picture, though? I mean, do you see the expression on our faces? Oh, this explains a lot. They're mostly full. She was too stubborn to take medication. She always had to have a picture of us Oops. close by. Why this picture? Though? I don't know why I keep thinking I mean, that you see the things going to change. <laughs> she and Tessa were best friends. Until suddenly they weren't. Wonder what happened. Either Tessa got sick of Marianne's moods, or Marianne got sick of Tessa's judgment. It's here! I knew it. I fucking knew it! Do you think she read it? Of course! She was nosy as hell! Tyler. What? Look. <laughs> what? Where did you find that? It was on her desk with her papers. Seriously? Are you fucking kidding me? Look, we gotta be really careful not to overthink this. It doesn't make any sense. She, she was mad, right? She was mad. I, I, I cut my hair. She attacked me because I cut my hair. She was mad and she attacked you. We both saw it. Then what is this shit? I don't know. I don't know. Tyler, come here. She can't do this to me. Not now, when I've finally made sense of a few things. Well, that was your first mistake. Thinking the world made any kind of sense. <laughs> Ten years in the grave, and she's still finding new ways to piss us off. 
I think I need some air. It has a feeling of like a horror game, kinda. I'm, I'm like on edge. Like I'm on edge, feel like I'm about to get jump scared like any second. <laughs> Are you really, really sure? What is this? I am. Do it. Okay. Uh, here we go. it all gone? Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, I feel like it's a mess. It, it looks amazing. Oh, <laughs> actually it looks pretty good. <laughs> I can't wait to show mom. She's been so sad lately. More than sad. She's been scary. Yeah, but not tonight though. It was almost like a party. <gasps> Thank you, Allison. You don't have to thank me. You're my sister. I feel more like, like your brother. Brother, sister, we look out for each other. But I'm um, pretty sure I just gave you a really bad haircut. <laughs> <laughs> Mom? Mom? Uh oh. Creepy. Glad we found your diary. Me too. She was trying to figure out where you were at. Yeah, well, she should have asked. I wasn't some goddamn research project. I was her child. About the book. Raising your transgender child? Do you even know how rare these books were in 2005? Was she trying to figure out how to support me? Maybe. Which, she wasn't trying. She never... It doesn't make sense, I know. 
you cutting your hair was what set her off, right? Allison, she read my diary. She already knew. It wasn't my hair. And if we were wrong about that... Fuck. You think she read it. It's possible she never even opened the diary, and that things are exactly like we always thought they were. But if she did, and they aren't... God, Tyler. Sure. I mean, we could have been wrong. But what good does it do to ask the question now? You mean other than not having to live with the thought that my mom tried to kill me for being me? Tyler, I know you want there to be something to find. Something that'll make it all make sense. But she was unhinged. So that's it then. She was crazy. Nothing else to say. I think we'd be better off if we tried to move on. Why don't we talk to a few people who knew her? See if that book makes any sense to them. People don't want to talk about Marianne. They pretend like that night never happened. Must be nice to be able to forget. So, say we get our answers, and it becomes crystal clear Marianne didn't attack you because of your hair. What then? We deal with it when we get there. But knowing that would mean everything to me. I get it. What about Tessa? She was Marianne's closest friend. Let's ask her about it. Sure. But I'll warn you, she's particularly touchy about this subject. Well, maybe she'll talk to me. I was always her favorite. Operative word was. But we need to go by the store anyway. To get a few things for the repairs. Great. Two seagulls, one stale hunk of bread. I'm not sure I like that analogy. Listen, I know you don't want to keep talking about this. But you're obviously not going to be satisfied until we do. So let's talk. You've been on edge all day. Is there something more going on with you? It's nothing. Pretty sure it's not nothing. And I'd like us to be on the same page. I thought we were on the same page. Sell this place as quick as possible and move on. Look, I've already explained why this is so important to me. Why are you still dragging your feet? This is a uh, sick view. you avoided this place for the last three years, I thought you wouldn't want to spend any extra time here. Oh. So that's what this is about. Maybe a little. Yeah. It's just... You graduated three years ago. And this is the first time we've seen each other in person. It's not that I didn't want to see you. I just... wasn't ready to be Tyler in Delos Crossing. I tried to visit you. I tried to go to your fireweed graduation. I wanted to bake you a crappy boxed cake and take awkwardly posed photos. I know. But you shut me out. All I got was non-responses and half-assed evasions. Look, I didn't want to see anyone. I just started testosterone. And, oh god. I had the worst acne. My emotions were all over the place and the smells... Allison, the smells... Men smell bad. I know. I've dated a few. <laughs> I needed some time to figure my shit out before I asked anyone else to try. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, it does. So, I was thinking... Hmm? Do we need to be in such a rush to sell this place? We've been over this, and we both agreed it's time for a clean break. I know. Trust me. I'm not talking about staying for long. Just long enough to get some answers. And you think this house has those answers? Maybe not, but it's a place to start. Well, it would be a shame if there was something to find and we tossed it out. How about we start digging without putting off the sale? And if it seems like we need more time, we'll talk about it then. Okay. So, we have a plan? Yep. We ask around about Marianne, but we also stick to our repair schedule. If that's really what you need. Alright. Deal. Always diary. It's been a long time since I heard that name. Was I the only one who ever called you that? Actually, no. 
I used it at Fireweed for a while, until I settled on Tyler. Most people were pretty chill about the switch. Not everyone, though. What do you mean? I had a mentee who refused to call me Tyler. He didn't want my help. He didn't want anyone's help. I'm sorry. I like the name Tyler, by the way. Thanks. I think I'd like to end up somewhere like this, just not here. Somewhere with more trees than people? Exactly. Just go into it with a little more of a plan than Marianne did. Already working on it. With my degree, it'll be easy to get a job as a ranger. After you spend a little time in Juno? Uh, still a maybe on that one. I think we should head out right away. Already tired of the view? Just finding it hard to relax and enjoy it with so much on my mind. Go ahead. I'll catch up. Need to respond to a message. Uh-huh. My sister. The social butterfly. Seems we got a trespasser. Uh, what the fuck? You got five seconds to talk me into defending my property. Your property? Five. Four. I'm Tyler. No known any Tylers. Three. Two. Sam! Ellie? What are you doing out here, girl? This is our house. Was I talking to you? Sam, put the gun down. This is Tyler. My brother. Well, your brother? Oh, shit. Huh. I guess I heard about all that, but I never... <laughs> Damn, <laughs> you look like a real man. So do you, Sam. You know what I mean. I just didn't know they could make a woman look so much like a man. <laughs> Not a woman who looks like a man, Sam. A man. A real man, just like you. Oh, shit. Guess I'm the asshole again. You gotta excuse us, old guys. I really don't. Well, come on. You kids keep changing the rules. You can't expect us to keep up. Just respect the people are who they say they are. It's not hard. No, it ain't hard, but it just takes some getting used to. We'll get used to it. Because we aren't going anywhere. So, what are you doing here exactly? Oh, well, I, uh, I've been kind of keeping an eye on this place for you, you know? Like patching the roof, checking the pipes, you know, all that stuff. Thank you, Sam. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's, uh, that's no big deal. I just, you know, your mama, she was, uh, she was a special lady. She deserved much better than, you know, uh, what you got? Didn't you used to help Mary Ann with repairs and building projects? Oh, yeah. Yeah, seeing as your mama never had a man around, I just you know, took it on myself to help her keep this place standing. How antiquated of you. Thanks. I uh, guess you two are still aiming to sell the place? That's the plan, which... By the way, we need your keys. Since apparently you went and changed the locks? Oh yeah, absolutely. But, uh, selling your mother's house? Are you sure? It's bad or good? It's all you've got left of her.
not all. I'm sure the gun she tried to kill us with is still somewhere in there. Tyler! What? What Tyler means is, a fresh start is what we both need. He's got a point. Of course. This place has got to be full of all kinds of bad memories. But maybe some good ones, too? Can you hear me? Ty, we can't do this when we're in the middle of talking to someone. But this is pointless. He's hammered. He's always hammered. And who knows? Maybe it'll make him chatty. Now come on. People think our family is weird enough. Um, everything okay with you two? Yes. No. Oh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Did you help with her door? Her door? The puzzle on her bedroom door. Oh. Oh, yeah. yeah. You two kept sneaking in, giving her no privacy, huh? You ever solve it? Yep. Better late than never, I guess. Uh, never solved it myself. I mean, not that I wanted to. I, I, uh, uh, uh so, uh. Guess you know all your mama's secrets now, huh? Well, she may have one or two left. How well did you know her? Not as well as I thought. When I heard what happened that night, well... I figured people were bullshitting me. It really surprised you, didn't it? Much as anything ever has. Other folks say they saw it coming. <sighs> Not me. We should get going. That's all you think we'll get out of him? He's too wasted to be of any more help. I'll tell him to get a move on then. Well, we've got a supply run to make, and Uncle Eddie's expecting a visit, so. Oh, right. Yeah, of course. Uh, get going, you two. Um, Sam, we all gotta get going. Oh, uh, of course. Of course, yeah, I got lots to do myself. I Lots of to-dos on old Sam's list. And you don't want to keep Brown waiting, you know? <laughs> Thanks for looking out for this place. Happy to do it. I... Uh, don't hesitate to reach out if you need anything. Anything at all. You hear? Sam? Huh? Uh, Sam? Leave. Uh, Perk? Keys? Oh, yeah. Of course. Of course. Yeah, they're, they're yours. I, uh, uh, this place it meant a lot to your mother. It almost felt like it was a part of her. And it's like some part of her is alive here still. Hopefully the house doesn't turn out to be a murderous psycho that tries to kill us in our sleep, huh? Huh. <laughs> Yeah. Well, uh, take care of yourself, uh, both of you. Hey, so, we really do have a lot to do. Okay, go on. I'll be right behind you.
ready to Veni Vidi Vecchi? What? I'm ready to talk to Tessa. Just try to keep in mind that your memory of her is ten years out of date. Yeah, well, it wouldn't be if she reached out to me while I was in Fireweed, which she didn't. So I'm guessing this is Michael? Oh, well, that really confused me. All right. I'm her now. Hey, you. Hey, isn't it your day off? Yep, we're here as patrons. Tyler, meet Michael. This is the annoying coworker I was telling you about. I was there for your introduction of marshmallow vodka and wine coolers, and I've only worked my way up to annoying coworker. Rude. <laughs> Don't worry. She told me exactly how miserable she'd be in this town without you. It's so good to finally meet you. The Tyler talk goes on 24-7, so I feel like I already know you. So, uh, you here to grab some stuff for the homestead, or...? Yeah, we decided it'd be easiest if we just stayed out there. We'll get it cleaned up faster if we literally cannot uh -oh. Hey, I'm all for efficiency. Cannot wait for us to get out of here. What's that? Oh, uh, Michael is moving to Juno too. Oh, and did you guys plan on moving together, or...? Well, I mean, yeah. It'll be cheaper to share a place, but nothing's set in stone. Makes sense. There could be room for you, too. <laughs> for sure. The more Ronins, the merrier. I'm studying to be a chef, so, uh, you know it'll be good eating. And hey, I only snore during allergy season. And baseball. <laughs> How can I say no to that? <laughs> <sighs> Are you okay? Dead on my feet, girl. Got up at four to fish before work. It's been a day. Oh, you like to fish? Yeah, there's this spot called Buzzard Hole I go to at least twice a week. It's like an hour drive, but it's so chill, especially first thing in the morning. Shut up. I used to go there all the time. For real? Yeah. Hey, well, if you want to go sometime, holler at me. I don't mind sharing. Cool. Most ah. guys I know get all smeagle about their fishing spots. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at you two. Bonding over the most slow and boring way to kill an animal. She's just jealous because she couldn't catch a fish. Even if she filled the lake with cyanide I'm first. Not... Oh, never mind. Tyler, we better get started with our shopping. Yeah, I'll be around if you need anything. Easy, easy, my hungry goblins. We have to leave some food for the other customers. But Auntie Tessa said we can have whatever we want. Man, I miss Tessa's cooking. She still make those, what are they called? Fried banana rolls? Tehran? Right. Mm, no, I'm pretty sure she made them special for us. Fried banana rolls. I really hope they get enough signatures on this. On what? They want to build a fancy hunting lodge up the river. It's going to totally screw up salmon migration. Gross. Why can't I sign it? It's here already signed it. What's that say? Extreme bubble gum? That what's up? Bubble gum's on X Games mode. It scared me. Well, hello, Miss Ronan. Did you forget something in the office? No, just doing some shopping. You remember my brother, Tyler? Your brother? Oh! Right, Tyler. What a pleasant surprise. Didn't Allison tell you I'd be by today? Yes, I think she did. I just didn't expect to see such a dapper young man. 
Well, I did shower this morning. <laughs> did you just get back into town, or...? More or less. We've been working out at the old house. But, surprise, surprise, after ten years of sitting empty, it was missing a few things. Hence the supply run. Ah, oh, right. Well, we'll get you set right up. It must be nice to be home. Uh, I'm not sure nice is the word for it. Oh, of course. I assume being there feels complicated. That's one way to describe it. Well, don't let me keep you any longer. I'll be here if you need anything. Oh, hey, is Tessa around today? Um, the wife's not in at the moment. I'm sure she'll be around later, though. Okay, so we need candles and an all-purpose cleaner. Plus snacks and drinks. I'm starving. That's a big pumpkin, holy moly. Wow. <laughs> Michael, you want me to pick up some birch syrup for you? It has some roundabout way of asking me to make you two my world famous pancakes. Ooh, busted. Let's see. Fresh cut peonies, triple layer chocolate chip cake, toasted marshmallow. Are you doing a dramatic reading of the fancy ass cookbook? Nope, just browsing <laughs> these fancy ass candles. You could take a picture of this. Look, all you only live once. Man, they really up their interior design game. They didn't used to have a license plate wall, right? Hey, Tom, when'd you get that new California plate? You remember that nice young couple who came through town last summer? With the funky van. They sent you their license plate? The van got it. So, by pulled strings, you mean you gave Eddie a discount on those new waiters? I've got friends in high places. <laughs> hey, Tyler, candy or chips? You know I got a sweet tooth, sis. Sugar rush it is. Candy. That's a big bag of candy. What Tyler, remember the Trout King? No way, it's still here. I thought Tom would have retired him by now. Are you kidding? He never misses a chance to tell he won a Trout Derby. It was a 12 pounder. <laughs> That's what like do we me still when need I poop. Get? I haven't found the thinning <laughs> stuff yet. And I'm still debating whether to get the off-brand cola or something fancy. Like orange soda. Man, I haven't shopped like this in ages. Take your time and enjoy it. Get the fancy what do we stuff. Still need to get? I haven't found the cleaning stuff yet. Oh. And I'm still debating whether to get the off-brand cola. I'm done talking to you. Like orange soda. Man, I haven't shopped. Inventory, huh? Uh, yeah. My mind is so numb right now. Anyway, how's the shopping spree going? Finding everything you need? I don't know who arranged all the shelves today, but they're a total mess. Are you coming for me, Ronan? Do I have to remind you of the great spreadsheet disaster of 2014, huh? We don't talk about that. I just made one tiny function mistake. Which wound up in the store almost ordering $10,000 worth of tampons. <laughs> you really <laughs> saved my ass when you caught that. Yep, and you still owe me for it. Anyway, how's your day going? It was just kind of unsettling to go back to the old house after all this time. How are you feeling? Still unsettled, but it'll pass. All right, well, I'll be here if you need me. Any opinion on cleaning products? Only that using them is fortunate way to spend an afternoon. I'll take the strong one.
fresh. I don't think frozen is fresh. Tyler, you want water, soda, juice? Whatever you want. I'm not picky. Wish any of it sounded good. Minute bubbly grip soda. Galgalata. I what I don't like grape soda. Grape soda it, it is. Ooh, getting wild. Okay, I think we're done here. Tom will ring us up at the counter. Oh really? I thought I thought we just walked out with it. Candy Lane. Can you believe Tessa and Tom were ever young? Allison, I heard that I may have a little less going on in the hair department, but you should see the rest of Delos High, class of 81. Fair enough. Will that be all? Yes. Thank you, Tom. Oh, hi, Tessa. We were just meaning to come talk to you. Hi, Tessa. Long time no see. Oh my god, you look like a completely different person. It's me. Plus beard. Yes. So we were out at the old house today. Heavens, why would you go there? Surprised it's even still standing. We found some stuff in Marianne's room that took us by surprise. Oh, really? We want to ask you some questions about her. You're the only person who might have known Marianne better than us. I, I don't know about that. It's been a decade, kids. I know, but I need to ask. What is it? Did she ever talk about me being a boy? No. It never came up. I found out much later, just like everybody else. Marianne was obviously concerned. She really didn't confide in you at all? Your mother was intensely private. She didn't need anyone else, and she made that clear. But this was about Tyler. She was always willing to ask for help when it came to us. Not at the end. Look, I have a lot on my plate today. I'm sorry. My advice to you would be to try to move on. It's not that easy. <sighs> what happened that night? You can't understand something like that, but it was God's plan. That's all we can know. I need to go now. Best of luck to you, truly. What the hell was that? I told you she wouldn't talk. It's like she's got CIA training. Something's weird here. It's weird, right? Yeah, I feel it too. It's like something's on the tip of my tongue. Tuberculosis. Vespucci. Where's she going? Oh, we're getting the twin power. Where is it? 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 There it is. Hey guys, you all done yet? Yeah, mom. Can we go outside while you and Tessa play cards? I'm afraid there's no time for games today, sweetie. Now let's go. Marianne, can you come here? Sorry, Tessa, I'm in a bit of a hurry. Oh, what's your excuse this time? Emergency repairs for the beaver dam? Tessa, look. No, I don't want to hear it. I want to talk to you now. Or do I need to start calling in your debts? <laughs> huh. I'd completely forgotten about that. I remember it, but not exactly like that. Here, let's see if we can call up my version, okay? Sure. Uh, Mom, can we go outside while you and Tessa play cards? No, there's no time for games today. Marianne, can we talk? No, we can't. Just leave the groceries, kids. Let's go. Don't. Please, let's just talk for a few minutes. Okay? Okay. We remember that slightly differently. 
I guess that makes sense. Rashomon, you know? But whatever happened, after that, they what? walked to the counter, and then Marianne lashed out at Tessa, right? Uh, no. Marianne defended us because Tessa got all preachy. Which Please, is going to be? Just talk for a few minutes, okay? Please, Marianne, I'm just trying. Stay away from my children. They don't need your guidance. I'm just trying to help. I don't need help. Not from you, not from anyone else in this fucking town. I'm done with all of you. You're done with the food? Oh. I give you? The fuel? Maybe you are, but the kids are my children, Tessa. Mine, not yours. Please, let's not do this here. Let's go into my office. Fine. Okay. You two, wait here. The music is so loud. Wow. Oh my god. I'm so oh, so loud. Okay. <laughs> For now, let's say Marianne was being Marianne. You missed so much. What is this? Oh, this is office, uh. They both tell me why. Hard. It's a new game what do you think that came out yesterday. Me? That oh, no. was made by one of the it's guys or one of the companies that made Life is Strange. But hey, now that we know she was lying to our faces, let's and, ask uh, Okay, so like in 2005, this, the boy, Tyler, was a girl and he cut her, cut his hair and the mom was going like crazy, right? And she wanted to shoot them. But he stabbed her and killed her and he just got out of like a troubled youth thing like 10 years later this is 10 years later after that this is 2015 and uh right now they're trying to figure out uh their mom's secrets and stuff at their old house they can like talk to each other in their minds and I just figured out that they can remember, like, memories and stuff. It's really weird. Oh, they're twins, too. Did I say that? What a word for culmination. Pineapple. Apogee? Ah, oh, it's not ten letters, Tom. Is there something I can do for you? Earlier you said Marianne kept everything to herself. But you two had a big fight a few months before her death, didn't you? We argued all the time. You'll have to be more specific. This wasn't about who cheated at Canasta. This was intense. You locked yourselves in the office so we couldn't... They're in Alaska. I'm sorry. It was a long time ago. Now, I was in the middle of something. Okay. We'll leave you to it. Damn it. I think she knows more than she's letting on. <sighs> a duh. But there's no way to nail her down when we don't even know what we mean. If we could pinpoint what it was about, she'd be out of excuses. Sure, but how do we do that? The music was too loud to make out what they were saying. Mm. Marianne and Tessa were obsessed with that song. It was on all the time. What are you thinking? We've been getting these visions whenever we see or hear something really emotional. Maybe listening to it will trigger something. Hmm. You may be onto something here, Ronan. We can't go back to her with anything half-assed. We should go talk to Tom. Make sure we build as strong of a case as possible. Okay. Let's see if we can figure out what song it was. All right. We should go talk to Tom, right? See if he remembers the song. I know. It was. It didn't even work. Kinda. Well, it kinda worked. Who's Tom? Is this Tom? Aren't you running for more gun control? My platform calls for sensible regulations, but folks around here need guns for safety. And as you know, we run extensive background Trying checks. Trying to kill their children. Every sale. Hmm. We should go talk to Tom, right? See if he remembers the I've song. I've tried. Hey, Tom. Hey, Tom. What's the Is there song? Something I can help you with. 
Remember that one? Oh, crap. <laughs> Wrong, <laughs> wrong button. Hey, Tom. Hey, Tom. There's something I can help you with? Remember that one time? This might be a weird question, but do you remember the song that Tessa and Marianne used to love? They played it all the time. <laughs> How could I forget? Uh, I think she's still got the CD back here. A little worse for the wear, of course. Uh, hold on. Huh, here it is. I was happy when it got put away, to be honest. A bit cheesy for my tastes. This is it, right? I think so. Sounds like it. <laughs> oh, there's some more ghosts. Whoa, I just got hit with a flood of memories. You seeing what I'm seeing? Yeah. Should we check this one out? You're seeing what I'm seeing, right? Mom, stop! That's so embarrassing! <laughs> oh, yeah? Tessa, come join me. I know you love this song. No, I couldn't possibly. Some of us are actually trying to get work done here. <laughs> I forgot how carefree she could be. Yeah. What the hell happened? You think there are more memories lurking around? I don't know. Let's see. I should stop trying to play this one handed. There's a memory right here I can't get at. I can't. I can't. I can't. There we go. Wait. There we go. The kids keep pestering me for these candies. They're so expensive. Oh, just grab a bag. It's fine. Oh, no. I, I can't, Tessa. It's nothing. Okay. But write it down in your little notebook. Okay, okay. Whatever you want. There. Happy? Yes. And I'll be by on Wednesday to help you close. Like I promised. Tessa acted like she was Marianne's mom sometimes. I think you mean Tessa was self-righteous and treated Marianne like a charity case. She was trying to help. We should see if we can find that notebook she was holding. I know Tessa still keeps a bunch of them in here somewhere. Look at this big pumpkin. Nice pumpkin. What are you doing here? Uh, I thought you needed help in the store. I needed help two hours ago. Have you been drinking? What? No, I just had a day, okay? I took a pill. I'm fine. Marianne. I said I'm fine. Kids, come on, let's go. Wait, please. I have something for you. Take a look at this when you get home, okay? They can handle this confusion. I've been working with these people for years. They can help. What do you think that pamphlet was Tessa gave to Marianne? I don't know. I saw it. It was that the Jesus end. one. It had a creepy vibe, but I didn't think much about it. It was bad, though. Like, maybe conversion therapy bad. I'm sorry. Whoa. This is hey. true. Is there something I can do for you? We remember details. Hold on. You sure we've seen everything? Yes. I think we've got a good sense of the situation. <laughs> it's time to confront her. All right. We're back with details that should help your memory. Oh, really? Yes, really. Marianne was having one yeah, of her days. Yeah, You were trying to talk, but she wasn't cooperating. The two of you started arguing, and you went in the office and cranked up that song you both loved. Hmm. And when was that? Well, our memories don't exactly have timestamps. Oh man. Uh 
Let's go with April. April 2004. Isn't that when she stopped trying to pay off her debts? Mm -mm, no, that doesn't sound right. We were still on good terms then. So you did end up on bad terms at some point? When? I honestly can't pinpoint the exact moment. But she got harder and harder to be around. I'm sure we never fought about money, though. I, I could see that she was struggling. Yeah, we didn't think you guys were arguing about money. Uh. She sounded like she'd had enough of Delos Crossing. She said she was done with you and the whole town. Was she having some sort of episode that day? I'm sorry. I'm really trying hard, but I just can't remember. Your mother acted erratic for months. We fought many times. Was it ever about me? It was always about a lot of things. She was struggling with everything at the end. Did you try to convince Marianne to send Tyler to some kind of program? No. And I think you should go now. Tessa, I'm here to figure out if Marianne tried to kill me because of who I am. Do you get that? I do. I just... Then why won't you help me? I truly don't understand what went on in her mind that day. And it will always be my deepest regret that I didn't see it coming. I hope you find your answers. I really do. I pray every night for you, too. But I... I have a lot on my plate right now. So I need to ask you to leave. Sure, we'd hate to be a burden. Can we have our groceries? Uh, um, Michael already put them in your trunk. Okay, thanks. Bye, Tom. See you later. What are you thinking? Just trying to wrap my brain around all that. She led us on a bit of a conversational snipe hunt, didn't she? Yeah, but it's kind of an answer, right? She didn't want to admit what they were fighting about, which makes me think it was me. You spooked her with that talk about the program. I think Marianne really was trying to figure out how to support me before whatever the hell happened that pushed her over the edge. You may be right. Yeah. She stood up for me, Allison. She was still crazy Marianne, but she saw me. I feel lighter. Like I've been carrying something around for the last 10 years and now it's gone. I, I'm really happy for you. But... That just opens a whole new box of Pandora's, doesn't it? Damn shipping crate full. Well, it's a good thing Eddie's expecting us. He knew Marianne pretty well, and he was in charge of her case. Did he ever mention anything about the investigation to you? No, I never asked. And I'm sure he thought I was better off not knowing. Guess that might have made for some awkward dinner conversation. Exactly. But I mean, he's a good cop, thorough. I'm sure he's got something. Let's go. Alaska is cool. I got some family in Alaska. But I've never been. I've been to Canada though. This is kind of bleak. It's usually more crowded, but the other officers punch out at six o'clock sharp. <laughs> There's no crime after six? In the mean streets of Delos Crossing? Just bears and drunken disorderlies. And Uncle Eddie can usually handle them on his own. <sighs> but what about drunk bears? <laughs> anyway, he's probably in his office, upstairs. Drunk bears are 
they're unstoppable. Damn, they still got this creepy mascot, huh? What? Officer Justin Beaver is not creepy. <laughs> he still is Crossing's longest serving officer. <laughs> Hold on. I want to catch up on all the Delos Crossing gossip. <laughs> oh, that's all just public safety stuff. Nothing that interesting. Too little, too late. Join the team. What team? The police team. Home sweet home. Hmm. You spent a lot of time here growing up? Yeah, whenever Eddie was working. The whole precinct's basically family. Hmm. It's freezing in here. Remember Mr. Haynes? Vaguely. He had that workshop in his garage, right? Made those huge glass sculptures? Yeah. He's been missing for a couple months. Damn. Always liked his art. He never did find him. This happened when we were kids, right? Yeah. Marianne freaked out and wouldn't drive after dark for a few weeks. I can't believe they're still sending psychiatric patients to prison. Yeah, I heard about that. So messed up. What? 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 What in tarnation? Where's the memory? Walked away from it. Where are you, memory? Ah. Come on, man. We can't make these poor kids sleep here. Well, where do you suggest they go? Social services will be here in a few hours, and this is the only room with a bed. Anywhere but a cell. We'll find some other place. Here we go again. God, not here too. I'm not ready. Me neither. You remember Dan and Shelby? I think so. The high schoolers who were always pissing Tessa off because they would blast fish and make out in the Vecchi's parking lot. Yep. Dan's a cop now. They're married and have a kid, a dog, the whole shebang. Damn. When did everybody decide to become an adult? <laughs> Maybe the... Inevitable drunk bears. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe everyone became an adult in the ten years you were locked up. Broski. Oh. Huh. Looks like she forgot her locker key here. She's gonna give me so much crap for forgetting her birthday. Who? Dee Dee? Denise. Who's, who's Denise? That's Denise Wilson's desk. Big gun. Remember her? Uh, crazy D? The woman who set fire to her ex's trailer? <laughs> Allegedly set fire. She was acquitted. And that's Officer Wilson to you. <laughs> Locked. The mailbox bandit, huh? Huh? Mailbox bandit. <laughs> Man, they are never <laughs> gonna catch this guy. What exactly did he do? This guy keeps stealing out of people's mailboxes. Asshole snagged a box of fancy washi tape I ordered online. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
see, I was picturing an actual mailbox bandit. You know, like hopping around on a post with a little mask on the door. Huh? You know, the mailbox is the bandit. Sorry, it was a bad joke. I was thinking like someone was going around stealing mailboxes. <laughs> What do you know? Still locked. I like how we're just going around turning well, what every did you door. Expect, dum -dum? It's a police station. <sighs> Something's in the way. What? You can't even get into that room. Tyler, you coming? She has no arm movement when she's going up the stairs. It's kind of weird. Allison, hey. Just finishing up a call. <laughs> Trying to convince Melinda the Ravens and her garbage aren't police business. Give me a few minutes. <laughs> sure. Make yourselves a cup of coffee. Here's the key to the break room. Thanks. Come back upstairs when you're done, okay? Coffee sound good? The machine is in the break room downstairs. Uh-huh. He just—he just tried to go into the armory. <laughs> uh oh. You know, I really thought I'd lock those memories in some deep, deep part of my brain. Same here. Can't even get in there. Something's in the way. Literally, you can't get in there. Where's the break room? Oh, another memory. Memory. Yeah. Where? Hello? Where's the memory? Where's the brick? Just reception. Reception. Where's the memory? Is it in here? Oh, well, that didn't help. Where are we going? I'm just gonna sit down in here, and I'm gonna ask you a few questions, okay? Okay. You okay? Yeah. I just usually try my best not to remember that night when I'm here. I would too. Where's the break room? Okay. This looks like Go a ahead. room that you can take breaks in. Oh, yeah. You okay? I'm just feeling a little nauseous. Ooh, that's got to be a new record. Four. <laughs> Allison, how about that coffee we were talking about? I ain't your freaking mama. Oh. <laughs> that's right. How you killed your mom. You sure you want coffee this late in the day? You'll be up all night. Uh, I don't think I'll sleep much anyways. Too much in my mind. Those dusty couches won't make it any easier. Why don't hey, you use your you okay? bunk beds? Oh, is this that room we can't, can't get in? This. Calm down, Allison. Stick to the plan. Come on, don't freak out on me now. I can't. Please, I can't lie. We already lied. It's all gonna be fine, okay? Lied. 
You okay? Honestly, no. Do you ever regret? No, no way. Well, maybe once Blaster. or twice early on, but now, no way. I mean, look where we're at. Look where I'm at. <laughs> Uncle Eddie's probably done by now. We should go find him. Never got that coffee. Do you mind if I go inside that room for a second? Uh, you sure? July. It's the first time I've been in here since that night. Eddie was so uncomfortable, he dropped a vase. Face. They glued it back together. Huh. Huh. What's that back there? No way. Have you been hiding back here all this time? <laughs> Gotta love those collectibles. Gamma way. So, isn't Brown waiting for us? We should head back to his office. Okay, jeez. Seeing if you wanted to keep looking in here for some reason. This is heavier than I expected. No, no. Emery. Why did you separate us? Is Ollie okay? Ollie's just fine, honey. They're all in the other room having cocoa. Everything's gonna be okay. I need to ask you a few questions now. Come with me. You're awfully quiet. Yeah, sorry trying to deal but it's a lot yep it's locked I'm pretty sure chief brown is done with his phone call by now hey I like exploring didn't Tessa buzz Dawn for smoking weed behind the store once yep but hey is this crazy D's locker <laughs> think so. Yep, I think so. We need a key to open it. Alright, I know where that is. Let's break into Crazy D's locker. She won't notice if we borrow this, right? Well, she left it here. It's her fault. Who leaves a personal item in your personal desk? Idiot. Obviously, she wanted us to look in her locker. Yes, but we never know where we might find information about that night. I guess so. So Wilson leaves her locker key in her desk and her password reminder in her locker? That's so irresponsible. An intruder could easily access all kinds of police files with this. Yeah, like two goblin intruders. Uh, it, okay, October 20... October 29th. That's the day before my birthday. What's the uh, password? Password winner on my 20th birthday. Uh, 
Her whole password is winner on my 20th birthday? What? <laughs> okay. Balto came through. <gasps> Balto. I like that movie. Winner on my 20th birthday. Hmm. <laughs> Winner on my 20th right. birthday. Hmm. <laughs> Can I flip it? Flip it, flip it, flip it, flip it, flip it. Nope. Alright, uh, nothing else I can see. Let's lock this pupper. But. Come on. Let's get out of here. A little B and E in a police station. Wouldn't be a life is strange game if uh, didn't do a little B and E once in a while. She won't notice. Oh, I didn't mean to take it back. Where we found it? Work up. No, 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 Close that. There we go. Good job. Can I get in her computer? I should take her out for a birthday drink. Yeah. Oh. This fella? No way. Is that Jay? Yep. He uh, he died last year, putting himself between D and a. Ah. Uh. Re rest in peace, Jay. When was she born? Oof, I should have gotten her something. You're a terrible person. It's your fault. I was so excited to see you that it completely slipped my mind. She's obsessed with sled dog races now. Is that even a thing? Oh yeah. Pretty cool. Oh yeah. She goes sure. to the Iditarod every year, and she's Ow. got a fantasy league called Musher's Little Helpers. It's really cool. <laughs> I forgot what kind of kooky shit people are into out here. Hey now, I'm <laughs> in the league. Hey, sorry that took so long. Sometimes these old folks want us to come out just because they're lonely. No worries, Uncle. Hey, do you remember this guy? Yeah, of course. How can I forget? Tyler Ronan, back in Delos Crossing. <laughs> it's uh, good to be back. And just look at you, a man grown. Yep, guess I ate my Wheaties. The whole clan's so proud of you. How you work with those kids at Fireweed. I would say children of the future. I thought that was Whitney Houston. <laughs> Come on, bro. She stole her entire act from me. Everybody knows that. Look at you two. Reunited and it feels so good, huh? <laughs> yeah. Not sure how I got by without this dork. Look, Eddie, we aren't here just to say hi. We found something We're such in a big echo. Things aren't really adding up anymore, and we've got questions. Oh, yeah? Did she mention anything about us that might have been worrying her? About Tyler in particular? No. She dealt with those kind of worries all on her own. 
kept the rest of us at arm's length. I see. I will tell you one thing, though. Your mom never knew her to hate anyone for being unconventional. Usually, it's the other way around. Did anyone mention anything about her behavior in the days leading up to that day? Anything at all? No. Everyone I talked to said it took them by surprise. Did you see her at all? Like, in those last few days? No. I hadn't seen her for weeks. Maybe a month before. Thanks, Uncle This feels like a scary game. Nothing good comes from scared. We don't really have a choice. These about sound them. Look at the freaking music. The sound of music is. Like it, but there is. Creepy. Can we take a look at her file? Maybe we'd see something you didn't. Her file? Her case file, her police file, whatever you call it. You keep those pretty much forever, right? We do, but I can't just pull it out right here, right now. There are procedures. <laughs> but you're the chief. Which makes it even more important that I follow procedures. Look, Chief Brown, are you gonna help us? Or are you gonna be a cop about Tyler! This? No, it's fine. Tyler, I know you resent me, but Fireweed was the best deal I could get you. I'm not mad about Fireweed. But I may be a little salty you kept my sister away for seven fucking years. That's what this is about? Look, that was the court's recommendation. They're the experts. I just went along. Yeah, sure you did. Trust me, son. We all believed that what happened that night was self-defense. But we couldn't be sure. <laughs> I can't believe this. Look, we couldn't be sure, okay? I was trying to protect you both. So you still not sure? What? You still think keeping us apart was the right call? She was traumatized. We needed each other to heal. And you took that away from us. So why didn't you let your sister visit when you turned 18 Uncle, then, huh? Uncle, please, let's move on. She's never gonna tell you how much that hurt her, but it did. That was about me. It wasn't about her. Allison gets that. And three years is nothing compared to seven. Right, Allie? Look, Uncle, separating us like that did not help me heal. If anything, it was the opposite. Even if he had been dangerous, I'd have taken the risk. Being apart was that miserable. I didn't know you felt that way, little moose. It was hard to talk to you about it. I didn't want to seem ungrateful. Look, we've all fucked up. We've all hurt each other. But isn't that what family's for? Can't we just move on? Sounds like the right call. <laughs> Times like this, I, I wonder who raised who. We're gonna stay the night at the old house. We better get going. You wanna grab a bite first? It's on me. <laughs> Don't wanna send you out there with empty stomachs. I would not turn that down. Okay, let's go. Oh! Oh, that's creepy. This is a horror game. Oh my god. Okay. This is a freaking horror game. I'm scared. Hashtag scared. <laughs> Hashtag I need new underwear. Hashtag hashtag. <laughs> Hashtag I killed my mom. Allison! What the what the hell? Oh my god! Oh my god!
Whoa! Plot twist! She killed her all along. What? That's what we're gonna tell them. No, no. Yes, we look out for each other. That's what goblins do. And brothers and sisters, it's gonna be okay. We're gonna be okay. <laughs> I did not expect that. Frickin' plot twist. What? Holy crap. Production babies? What? Allison was happy that Tyler accepted Eddie's peace offering. Who would have guessed? I know. I did not expect Allison to be the cold blooded murderer. I thought it was Tyler. He did go to like a youth troubled troubled youth thing. I don't know what it is really. For ten years. Allison was delighted to solve the princess's riddle with her brother. Tyler felt supported by Allison's trust at the store. Tyler was reassured of his bond to Allison when she sided with him at the station. Tyler earned Sam's respect. Tessa emphasized with the twins about Marianne. Learn the truth. What? I didn't get it. Eddie felt rejected by Allison when he didn't side with him on the station. Dang. So this is a freaking horror game. See that guy with the He's smile? Not going to give us the truth. So I say we that was hella ourselves. creepy. Wait, you're not seriously thinking of breaking and entering a police archive? Go oh back yeah. Home. See, look. Another B and E, another B and E section. <laughs> wow. Chapter two. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Will be available on September seventh. Seventh? What? 
September 2nd, 2020. Dang. That's like four months from now. What day is it? It's the 28th. That's like two months from now. I like this game. It's pretty fun. Oh, I missed one. Dang. Ah. What are you talking about? The wise princess Listen. is a runaway from a oh. far off land. The mad hunter, the crafty goblins are too. The ice king is the lord of the whole forest. He is so powerful. The mad hunter is a cruel and ruthless creature. Once he starts hunting someone, he never stops. Oh. He'll chase That's his prey to the ends guy. of the earth if he needs to. No one can escape his piercing eye. That guy is hella creepy. Hello. Next week. <laughs> it's a couple couple months. Like let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven months. There's a shotgun shell. That's a weird leaf. I know. Tell me about it. I could have been playing cyberpunk right now. Instead, you're gonna have the freaking hit in April. Ugh. <laughs> Pushed it all the way back to. October, I think it said. I think it was, right? Or September. And then they push it back again. To November. Ugh. I can't wait for Chapter 2 in two months. I like this game. It's pretty fun. God dig it. Okay. I'm going to end the stream here for today. Tomorrow we'll continue with the um, last episode of Life is Strange 2. And then I don't know what we should play next. <laughs> I haven't really thought past that. I was thinking about uh, what remains of Edith Finch. Let's think about that game again. That could be a fun one. But, uh, I'm not too sure. Have a good day, bro.